guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're having a chill day so far. And this is your Sir Kevin o again. Continuation for past 41 agriculture. We're now at part 2, recognition, measurement, and presentation. If you are not able to catch the first part that was on nature and classification, I'll link it down in the description so that you can just get back to it. So, past 41, continuation. Let's go! So part two, let's start with recognition. An entity should recognize a biological asset or agricultural produce when the following are met. Una, you control the asset as a result of past event. So you control the asset, it means you can decide what you want to do with it. Do you want to sell it? Do you want to keep it? Do you want to grow it? Ikaw bahala. If you can decide that, then you control the asset. It is probable that future economic benefits will flow to the enterprise. So meaning, if I would sell this right now, I would receive a substantially favorable trade in terms of resources. And lastly, the fair value or cost can be measured reliably. Pretty basic, these recognition criteria are, ano? Let's go to measurement. Measurement naman is straightforward. A biological asset is recognized at fair value less cost to sell. Both initially and at each balance sheet date. What does this mean? Uh, bibili ka ng asset, biological asset. Initially, you will carry it at fair value less cost to sell. And when balance sheet date comes, reporting period, you will measure it at fair value less cost to sell again. So what does that mean? Uh, careful here kasi the fair value less cost to sell might change for both measurement periods. So kailangan mag-recognize ka ano ang gagawin sa difference nila. We'll get to that later. Si agricultural produce naman should be measured at fair value less estimated cost to sell at the point of harvest. Point of harvest, we talked about agricultural produce earlier in the first episode of this video set. And alam mo na ngayon na ang agricultural produce ay past two. Right? And past two, inventories would say, you measure the item initially at cost. For an agricultural produce, your deemed cost shall be the fair value less cost to sell at point of harvest. So take note of that. Ang magiging initial cost ng inventory kapag agricultural produce is FVLCTS at point of harvest. Just to expound more on harvest, ano? What is harvest? It is simply the detachment of a produce from a biological asset or the cessation of a biological asset's life processes. What you see there is detachment of a produce and here is the cessation of a biological asset's life process. <music> You get the point now. Okay? I don't need to show you. Fair value, less cost to sell. Fair value is self-explanatory, right? Ito yung price at which a buyer is willing to buy and a seller is willing to sell at an arm's length or fair transaction. Now, cost to sell needs to have more description kasi di pwede lahat ng magagasto mo, ididak mo from the fair value in order to arrive at the valuation. Here are the allowable deductions. Includes broker and dealer's commissions, levies by regulatory authorities and commodity exchanges, and any transfer taxes and duties. Also included is transportation and cost necessary, costs necessary to get the assets to a market. This excludes finance costs and income taxes. So ito lang ang magiging palatandaan mo if you are unsure of an item if it should be included or excluded from cost to sell. Ask yourself, is the cost necessary in order for me to be able to sell the asset? For example, how can you sell your crops if you are unable to transport them to a market? Or if you are selling through a broker, of course you will have to pay the broker his commission. 
And to make the transactions legal, there will be Levi's by regulatory authorities, transfer taxes, and duties. Of course, unless you want your goods to be confiscated. Okay? So, that's point of sale. Costs or cost to sell. Isa lang kailangan mo tandaan. Fair value, less cost to sell. Initial and subsequent. That's for biological asset. For agricultural produce naman, at point of harvest, magkano ang fair value, less cost to sell niya? That is the cost of the inventory. Here are a few items of biological assets, their agricultural produce, and the possible products that can result after harvest. I won't go through the trouble of reading each one of them. You can pause the video anytime if you want to read all of them. But for now, let's move ahead and get to the next one para makapag-illustrations na tayo. Important notes. Una, very important. Changes in fair value less cost to sell, meaning beginning FVLCTS versus end FVLCTS, pag magkaiba yan, ang difference nila is profit or loss. We call that gain on changes of fair value. Next, all costs incurred during the period related to biological assets are recognized in profit or loss when incurred, except for cost of purchase, of course. So, things like feeds, supplements, unplanted seeds, fertilizers, uh, pesticides, etc. Lahat yan ng ginagamit mo for agricultural activity shall be charged to expense. Feeds, supplies expense. Supplements, supplies expense again. So, nag-hire ka ng mag-clearing ng lupa, that is salaries expense or wages, etc. Next. Pass 41 encourages separate disclosure of changes in fair value less cost to sell due to price change and physical change. Let's go back to the first one. Valuation initial versus valuation end. Pag magkaiba to, anong tawag dyan? It's called changes in fair value. Gain or loss on changes in fair value has two elements. There is the physical element and the price element. Ano to? Physical change and price change. So consider this. You bought a piglet on January 1. Newborn. And then, you took care of the piglet until December 31. By December 31, siguro mga one year na siya. No? Imagine the difference if you would sell the piglet versus if you would sell the one-year-old pig. Magkano kaya ang difference in value na matatanggap natin? I would guess it would be, I think, more than 10 times the price, depending on the weight of the pig. That's physical change. The increase or decrease in value because of the change due to biological transformation. So sa price change naman, the gain or loss due to price change will require us to assume as if there is no growth. So ganito po. Let's say, for example, the price of a piglet at the beginning of the year is 2,000 pesos and at the end of the year naging 2,500. So kung ako mag invest into a piglet, when would be a wise time for me to buy one? Do I buy it at the beginning of the year? Or do I buy it at the end of the year? Assuming there is no growth, ha? Mas makakasave ako saan? Sa beginning of the year, di ba? Tapos let's say, bumili ako ng piglet at the beginning of the year. Assuming there is no growth, pag nating ng December 31, pwede ko na siya ibenta at 2,500, right? That is the change in fair value due to price change. There is a what-if scenario here. Assuming there is no growth. Last one. Let us now go to statement presentation. And I would like to emphasize that biological assets are presented as a separate class of assets falling under neither current nor non-current classifications. Emphasize. It is neither current nor non-current. Meaning, di ko siya ilalagay sa current or sa non-current. It is a special classification. Pero, I have already seen a few examples na nilagay ito sa non-current asset. And this is only for convenience. But do take note, this statement here is taken from a summary of IAS 41. That's past 41 here in the Philippines. So, pag tinanong ka theory-wise, ito ang sagot, neither. Next, 
a biological asset should be subclassified. So, if you're going to present your animals in your financial statement, dapat meron at least, either on the face or in the notes to FS, you should differentiate the animals according to classes, like cattle, separate from pigs, separate from goats, and of course, you will have to differentiate as well ano ang average age ng group na to if you have newborns, if you have mature animals, and etc. Nature of activity, consumable or bearer, this now applies to if a particular, for example, a particular animal is being used as a sow or is it going to be fattened and sold immediately. So that's that for discussions.